Hey there, Droya here, and welcome to Subtle Games Trends Mod 2. Today, taking service in the Great Ocean Express, the first, well, the original DLC for Trends Mod, so if we go back to 2016, 2017, so Trends as an early access tech demo came out, that was DC's Heavy Hawk. Then in 2018 summer, things like August, September time, we then saw the release of the Great Ocean Express. So this is going way back into the history of Trains and Worlds, the original one. And um, well, a couple of weeks ago, about a week actually, one or two weeks ago now, that the hotel have since actually ported all of their original old routes into the new sim, apart from uh, Northeast Corridor. We don't talk about Northeast Corridor. So um, yes, I thought today we'd go back to Great Ocean Express as it's probably one of my favourite routes in the entirety of train sim world. I mean, West Somerset Railway is pretty good. Yeah, this was also all right. Uh, another one as well, East Coast Way. Very, very fun. But Great Western, I think, for me, it really does... Uh, it goes to a place in my heart. The uh, the OG train sim world uh, routing. And uh, yeah, two of my favourite locos as well. So the Class 43 HST. And probably my favourite, if not my second favourite unit in the UK, the uh, Class 166 Networker Turbo. I mean, to be fair, the 3954 is my all-time favourite train, so uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be close up there, the 166. Definitely going to be close up there. So, take it safe stay in the standard GWR Green livery. We'll do a few runs, we'll do a few runs. So I think we'll start off nice and easy on an outbound service to... Hmm, I think we'll go as far as Greenford for initial service. Th then we'll do a HST run. Then we'll do an entire length in the Great Western 166 heading towards Paddington. And then we'll uh, we'll mix things up a little bit. We'll see. But uh, like I say, it should be, a, should be a nice and relaxed stream tonight. Welcome, Sequestrus. How are you doing? Welcome, Turtle. Welcome, Slycation. Owen, Kian, Sour, Alexander... Nope, I use OBS for streaming Alexander. I use OBS uh, drag person and yeah, that's that. So let's uh let's get started, shall we? Set the lights in today. Train key active, reverse uh, forwards. Train has been loaded with passengers, which is fine. Plus up, let's get going. I will say, between the original train sim world and this release, Dutch have definitely changed the uh, audio a bit, they've changed some of the sounds. Because compared to the Trains in World 1, I don't know, the trains sound so much better. So much better, a lot more life bring into these. So, again, while I said they weren't going to change too much with the original releases, this was a good change. This was a, a very, very good change. So, we're going to leave it at lower speed limits before we head out. Also, turn on the. Ah, hang on. What have I done? I'm sure it's. Uh... Hmm, I have one out on the uh, safety systems. I'm sure it's... There we go, control shift, not control alt. There we go. So I use the full AWS setup in this, since I know how it all works. Otherwise it's nice and uh, standard, that. Not too bad today, not too bad, uh, Kian. It's been a, an average Friday. Glad the weekend's here. Because lockdown's out. Tomorrow, I'll be back out to my uh, railway volunteering. And on Sunday, probably an opportunity may arise to drive. Uh, we'll see. I do start my driver training very shortly at the Volunteer Railway, so never know. Won't be too long until I drive something uh, a bit more sizeable. Welcome, Olivia. How are you doing? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the chat. I just realized my Twitch may still say flight sim. Let me quickly change that. 40 miles per hour speed limit here. Go. Right, that should make a bit more sense on Twitch now. Got up the horn. Like I said, the 166 is probably my, it's definitely my favourite of the uh, non high speed trains. I mean, the Class 95 um, Javelin is probably, well, my time favourite train. But this is very close behind. I don't know, it's something about it. I mean, it's 1991-1992, so it's early 90s. It was the first of the more mainstream modern networkers that were built by ABB York. 
I don't know, it's just something about its style, its design. Seats and interiors are very, very comfy compared to the uh, one day ironing boards. But uh, yeah, just overall, it's a very, a very classy little train, this. Any real downside, no Wi Fi, so uh, <laughs> stuck a data. Uh, new experience because you haven't tried your train soon yet. Uh, no worries, Olivia, no worries at all. Uh, what flights and streams in the future? We have to wait and see. Fancy train. It's an oldie, but it's a goldie. Also, very easy to drive with the uh, combined mass controller, brakes and throttle. About two and a half miles now from our first station, Acton Main Line. Uh, I know the webcam focusing on focusing, that's just the webcam being funny. That's uh, nothing to do with buffering, don't you worry. I'll try and stabilise that shortly. Oh, I am also running a mod as well, which actually introduces some of the uh, original Great Western. Uh, first Great Western, actually, is what they're called. First Great Western Purple. So, we've got that. So, mod on your available on PC. Basically, in the game files, the original Purple was supposed to be there in the Sim, but it looks like they may be either. Well, the story goes they lost it due to licensing. So, when Dovetail got the license from First Great Western, or in this case, Great Western Railways do it. Because Great Western Railway domain operators, they only give them like, permissions to do the um, GWR green liveries. But there were files on the game that allowed you to use the purple. So there is a mod that you could download to unlock all of that stuff. So we'll give a run on that later as well, for sure. No real changes, it's just turns your train from green to purple. Alright, so we're shortly coming up to the train's top speed at this point. Heading through um, Old Oak Common. Which now no longer exists. All those buildings over there since have been knocked down as part of the HS2 works. So HS2 will soon be storming through here as well, departing from Euston. Then it'll make its way through Ryslip and almost to Birmingham via the uh, Chilterns. A couple of moments before we start to get ready to slow down as well. Um, have I been to Cornwall? Yes, I've been there once. I've been to Cornwall once. A couple of years ago now. now. I do plan to visit there again relatively soon. I'm not sure if I take the train or fly there. To be fair, flying to Newquay from London a lot cheaper than the Carrison Railway, but you never know how things may change. So I'm going to do a slight slowdown now. Active Main Line, only about 700 yards away at this point. Only about 60 FPS right now. If you notice, stream is only at 60 FPS, something I can actually do in the uh, World Train Sim. Right, there's the station. So, enter platform about 30 miles per hour, bring it to a halt shortly after we go in. Uh, to be fair, my train sim streams generally have less views than flight sim. If I did flight sim, I'd get a few more uh, people watching. Train sim. Train sim's always been more of a light thing. I do it because I enjoy it. I know that a lot of my viewers generally don't come here for the train sim stuff. Nice and slowly. That'll do. Doors open. Oh, that's uh. <laughs> okay, see so our passengers train out the high jump. I'm sure that was a world record right there. Two of them. Well, we're almost done now here at uh, Acton Main Line. Next station shall be Ealing Broadway. Oops, that's the engines. Give it a few more seconds. Actually, a couple of seconds early at the moment, which is uh, not a bad thing to be in. 
we should probably be a little bit slower acceleration, which we are on time. So I'll go on a very slight departure out. Uh, 21 years old, Gabrielle. 21. No longer a teen. Right, let's get going. A few seconds early. Like said, if we do start lagging behind later on, it will be easier for us to recover service. So, next station, Ealing Broadway. About a mile and a half. Uh, yes, I am British. So current speed limit is about 90 miles per hour, which is the top speed of this train. Uh, there you go. Max speed 90 miles per hour. So it's not exactly a fast unit this. Faster in the UK being the well Jab 315 that runs at 140 miles per hour. And then got the HST trains to our left. These two uh, lines there. They are on at 125 miles per hour, so not quite top speed. For years it was cast as high speed. And now compared to two railways in other countries. 125 is kind of a, a more average speed. So H is 2, so they're going to try and increase that in terms of top speed, but the current state H is 2, maybe a couple of maybe a couple of years behind. Start slowing down now. Let's reach our next station. Uh, not doing too bad, Norwegian. Not doing too bad. Thought we'd take things a little bit slower to save a flight sim, a train sim. So things a little bit slow, train sim, for uh, jumping right back in during the week and so nice and slowly. Once again, we're a little bit early as we approach Ealing Broadway. Down to thirty as we enter the platform. Side doors, left hand side doors, even, not left. Now, passengers to uh, make their changes. They have 21 PS2, but you reorder on your computer. No things we can get about buying again. Afraid not, which it wishes. If you own it on PlayStation, you will need to buy it again for uh, PC. I've got to remember, Sour, that the original train sim did really came out in like 2007. A lot has changed since uh, those days. Train sim worlds to very much kind of well, train sim worlds, the original one, very much kind of the uh, spiritual successor, train simulator, train sim world two, then being successor, train sim world one, and uh, well, this version should keep us going for a, say, for a couple more years. New routes, new scenarios, got a bit more third party action coming along as well. So the other wild well, certainly a uh, fun one to do. And uh, yeah, like I said the future really is bright for the uh, train sim. Also, you got Sim Rail coming out next year as well, which is looking very, very exciting indeed. You don't know Sim Rail, basically it's another train sim being put together by a team of Polish developers. And um, well, it's kind of, kind of doing what Train Sim World does in regards to that. It's big, 3D built, a bit more kind of you can jump out of the train, walk around that kind of stuff. And so, on that case, it's being run on a lot of Polish railways by these things, run the EU EP07, although it has got steam locomotions, so certainly going to be a fun one to look at as well. Like I say, future looking very bright for train sims. So you can't wait to see what uh, dovetail they've got their sleeves in the next couple of months. Right, so next station, West Ealing. Next station, uh, it's less than a mile away. I'm not going to ask that, Posnier, because this is a train sim stream, not a flight sim. Less than a mile away, next station. It's about a minute, two minutes to travel between the two. Very tight. 
start slowing down shortly. In fact, we'll leave it on the uh, on the neutral for a bit. As we're only terminating, well, we terminate at Greenford, therefore West Stealing, I believe, is our last station for the end of the scenario. It says so. After this, we shall be doing uh, a HST run along the entire the line, and uh, well, I'll see how that goes as well. So it starts slowing down now. Uh, roof joints are well low. What do you mean by roof joints? So nice and slow, slow down. Uh, Similar so cool, getting new PC for Christmas, so excited. You enjoy it, you enjoy it. I mean, I've always liked train sims. Maybe even a little bit more so than flight sim. There you go, there's a express service coming through. So while running in the commuter setup, top speed of 90 miles per hour, so I'm going to go quite as fast as HSTs, therefore we're just going to miss out on a few stations between Reading and here. So, just complete. We'll unlock the doors. Let's have a, have a look, uh, look around on our way to the station. Not going to be too busy at Westing. It's kind of a, a more of an intermediate stop that. Mm, yeah, it's an intermediate stop. You don't have too many passengers generally getting on and off it. Uh, this is Train Sim. So, this is Train Sim. Welcome, all. How are you doing? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the chats. How are you today? Go out of the bridge. See if we can try and get some of the uh, collectibles we haven't done so already. I think I'm already done with stealing. Answer is look around. Should be a map somewhere. Should... No, nope, there it is. Okay, wrong side. <laughs> so if we jump across, there we go. Touch the map. So we're currently at West Ealing. At this point, the train will be taken by someone else to the Greenford branch separately. Next service, we're going to start to Paddington again, do a HST run to Reading, then do a 166 from Reading all the way to London as an all stopper station. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what our next run will be after that. So, doors close. Now we wait. Uh, haven't watched streaming yours since pre Microsoft Flight Sim. You remember days of flight? It's been a while, Will. It hasn't really been a while. How are you doing, man? Welcome back. Right, off to the main menu. Yes, the day of five viewers. The big streams will be when Train Simod releases a route. Those are the big ones. How times change. Welcome, Patrick. How are you doing? Welcome to the channel for the chats. Right, so let's do a. Uh, let's do a scenario. No, not a scenario. We are doing a timetable. We're doing HST. We're going to start off at Paddington and we are going to do a service down to Hereford, as far as Reading in this case. Nice and simple. In this occasion, you have got a separate brake and thrust control, so no mass controller. A bit more of a hands on journey. Uh, do we stop at uh, Slough? Question. Yes, we do have to stop at Slough. Some trains don't stop on the way, some go straight through. Set the brakes to off, set the key, reverse uh, forwards, lights set to daytime. Uh, what are these? Use the train supply, windscreen, spare, turn on the AWS. So, let's, uh, let's get going, shall we? So, now driving the Class 43 HSC, the high speed train, the train somewhat. The main line. Yes, the uh, 350 from Housing to China. I've done two attempts. The first attempt managed to, uh, well, I overslept, missed our top percent, then ran out of fuel, so I can approach this at the end. That was, uh, that was an interesting time, that. So, so long ago. Right. So, uh, slowly. Increase software to reach the uh, high speed limits. Around Ardo Common will then be able to fully max out the throttle, increase our speed. And then it's a high speed run to slow, slop it, pass and change, up to speed again, and on as we go. That's why I thought I'd make the urinals. <laughs> uh, what upcoming really about most excited about the Tracing World? 
The TGV duplex looks very, very fun. I mean, that's going to be a train that goes up to about... Well, that's a 250 kilometer an hour run, so that's about 160 miles per hour. Uh, the South Eastern Railway's one, out of King's Cross... Uh, yeah, King's, St. Pancras, St. Pancras, isn't it? Uh, yes, King's, the uh, South Eastern out of St. Pancras, very excited for. The uh, Class 95 Javelin, which I've actually got a Hornwood love up here, if you can see that. Probably not, because the green screen's going to make it disappear. But I've got, well, I've got a model up there. Probably will me that. Um, yeah, I'd say probably those two my uh, my top two at the moment. Welcome, Fenny. How you doing? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the chat. How are you doing today? So, increase up now to 50 miles per hour. It's kind of a slow, stepped up increase of speed now, like I say, it's about all that common. I'll then be able to push up to 125. Should also be green signal throughout our journey today. No real need to slow down too much until we get close to, uh, well, close to now, close to Reading. But again, double yellow, down to about 60, single yellow, down to 30, and bring things to halt if the signal stays at red. I love the small diesels, train some miles. Living out on the bogeys, so they kind of bounce around the uh, train down the track. And the train pantograph, you'll be able to see the pantograph kind of bobbing as the train goes on at speed. There's small little details that really do bring this into life. Right, up to 100. Uh, right now, Sophie, we're passing through Old Oak, Old Oak Common, which is the uh, former depot for this line, just the west of Paddington. Very shortly about to pass through Ealing, so about Acton right now, West London. Uh, what do you get named Droya? Um, I mean, it's a long story, that. It goes back to the days of uh, high school when I did graphic design. I've probably actually got the thing somewhere still here, but basically, I had to sign like a, well, in my case, a game console and all that. And, uh,. I don't know, the name droid just came to me. There was a small thing behind it, which I won't go into too much detail about because that's really my uh, personal details, basically. But there are. It's a it's a long story. Long story. It's quite a good one. Have you just the draw distance? Um, draw distance is set to the. Well, I believe it's set to the maximum in the sim. TS on board. So, uh. Yeah, you can see far enough around the corners. Uh, yes, Sophie, this is in the UK. Currently within the London borders. So passing through. Just about passing 80 miles per hour now. A couple of moments. We'll see the speed limit jump up again. Just on maximum throttle. We're just storming through now to slow. We're up there at 38. It's about 11 minutes till we arrive at Slough. That's 11 minutes. Yeah, stage check. I'm awake right now. <laughs> It's just weird that your plane train sim just have style. Oh, why is sketchy? Very, very nice. Train sim world, train simulator. Uh, train simulator. You're playing the uh, original train sim, are you? The uh, classic um, Railworks, actually, I think it was. I've got the copy of it on disc somewhere. 
Uh, Flight Limited, British Airports, Altitude Concorde, PMDG, Trains, Boeing by Ariane, Flight Limited. Where is it? I've got a train. Hmm. I'm going to try and dig it out at some point. I've got train sim. Well, it feels like it is Railwork 2. Oh, sorry. Microsoft Train Simulator. So that's the one. The Microsoft Train Sim. The original, former, pre Railworks, pre Dovetail, pre everything days. Somewhere up on my shelf. Oh, so many old sims on here. It's crazy. Just old classics as well. But we could try some of these out. I mean, got. So, I'm not around Sim. World Subways Volume 3. That's a classic. The Ariane 10 3 collection, that was uh, an interesting one. Good model, but I made you pay for the cockpit separately, which is a bit iffy. Uh, driving a GBR. Ah, so you're driving an old steam train, are you, Sketchy? Very nice. <laughs> you turn it back, Sketchy, that Marshall Train Sim. Marshall Train Sim is this train sim that OGs remember. Seriously, it is a classic, classic sim. That's... You don't say anything ill about uh, Marshall Train Sim. Uh, yes, Sophie, the sit train does exist. It's now being slightly retired, so Great Western no longer operate these, but they're normally found around, well, found in Scotland now, part of ScotRail. But uh, yes, this train it does exist. It's a Class 43 HST, the uh, UK high speed train. It was in the 1960s, still in operation, but slowly really retired. Also, East Coast Main 1970 as well. Uh, yes, we are heading to the east. West, west, west. Heading to the west. Now passing 105 miles per hour, heading through Southall. Next station will be passing. Well, that's Southall station right there. It's uh, Southall sidings. That's the camera just over here. So, next stage passing through is Hayes and Harlington, followed by uh, West Drayton, Iva, something, something, Maidenhead, Twyford, and Reading. Uh, PC specs all in the description, but we're running an i7 uh, 6700 with 32 gigs of RAM and a GTX uh, 1660 graphics card. Uh, Chicago to Los Angeles, is that a route in Train Sim? Maybe in the original Train Sim, certainly not in Train Sim World. Uh, have you noticed that the Train Sim is 6 hours long? Yes, we are running a 6 car unit today, so a bit of a shorter set compared to uh, standard, which is actually smaller than that, it's just 9 cars. It's a nine car set, not a six car set. Hang on, actually, maybe more than that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, ten car sets. Eight passenger cars, driver, and trailer. Now, underneath the uh, Heathrow Airport cross layer, that's the train to Heathrow. Now, we're heading in that direction. We're heading west, we carry on. There's a cars 166 on our right. Local service stopping train. A bit bumpy at the moment. Bumpy. Shock is all this time the uh, full pelt. So we're only the uh, fine speed now, one, two, five. over four and a half miles now to go. About two miles we'll start slowing the train down. As long as it gets to about 60 within one mile, down to the platform, we'll then be uh, making it alright. Um, not yet, Sketchy. 
Oh, you're going past the main head. Okay, sorry, officer. Obviously, that was in no. Don't worry. So, if we were in the same platform, and there's mice playing on that, we'd probably cross around Slough. Because I'm about three miles now from Slough. So, this is going to be. No, next station is. Langley. A little bit breaking in, ever so slightly. <laughs> no worries, Max. Glad you joined the watch. Uh, this is a day train. The HST does not have sleeper cars. The uh, not Caledonian sleeper. There's the Caledonian sleeper is one that goes to Scotland. There's a sleeper on the Great as well. I can't remember the name of it, but uh, that one's operated by a class. 30 something, 30 something or 40 something, I believe, for the uh, sleepers. Alright, so we're now passing through Langley. Slow train down now as so we're about to approach our next station. Yeah, now passing through Langley. that one. Um, actually, I do know a driver who, well, he's still on Great Western, he now drives on the uh, more than 800s, but he did used to drive the HSTs at high speed, back and forth. I don't know if I'll see him this weekend, I'll definitely see him next couple of weeks. Uh, that was uh, Langley, very shortly, about a mile and, just over a mile and a half away now from Slough, our next station. We're a couple minutes early, currently 10.35, we're going to stop at 10.38, we're going to have some slow crawl in, we should be alright. Gotta remember Tram, Microsoft Flight Sim is still in early days, plus they never said study level aeroplanes. If you go back through all their footage, at no point they ever claim their planes would be study level. I'm not quite sure where people found that, but there was no claim to that. Never has been, never will be. There you go, Slough, very shortly. I'm calling out, underneath the bridge, second bridge, station. And Slough, being the junction between the lines to Reading and Paddington, also the uh, Windsor lines. So you've got a few stations towards Windsor, single track, it's a shuttle train that operates between the two. And uh, I believe it's still the, well it's the closest place that a 166 now comes to London, because there is a 165 that operates on the uh, Greenford branch, but the 166 specifically doesn't really go too much close now, apart from, well, here in uh, Slough. Uh, what's your favourite sim? I mean, like I say, I do very much enjoy train simulators and train sim world. Very much a platform close to my heart, that's for sure. Um, lines, this, this is the Great Western Express uh, Slick Burrito. This is the Great Western Express, now approaching the Slough. Yeah, one minute to go now. 40 miles per hour, doing perfectly alright. running a full tank car set, we will need to push to the uh, end of the platform. A little bit more power in since we have slowed down maybe a little bit too much. Uh, yeah Sophie, we did start from London today. Perfect. 
so I want left hand side doors. So that right there is a stop marker, HC car stop. And therefore our train should now be pretty much perfect on the platform. The rear driver cab will be off of it, but the doors should all stay on. We'll go to plan. Answer is just about. Probably could have gone a little bit more further forward. That's going to cause too many problems. Close the door. Again, no problems. Yes, welcome to Slough, the initial stop between uh, London and Reading. Right, let's go now to close the doors. Brakes off. Uh, welcome, Nick. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome to the chats. The the M7. It's a longish train. I'd say maybe same than if not ever so slightly shorter than this is HST. As the M7 Long Line Railroad is very much a commuter train, but for long distance services. So they fill up quite quickly, and therefore they run slightly longer sets. But yes, the M7 and M3 both would be uh, relatively long trains. Uh, going fast ground today, yes. Very nice, Max. Train tour. I'll show you the inside, but in the case of HST, because, uh, well, the train carriages are separate from the, uh, hang on, the train carriages are separate from the uh, main units, therefore can't quite cross in to get to the area's carriages. But we'll definitely have a look at our trains to get to Reading. So we've got the uh, main second, well, standard class here. We've got a catering cart towards the mid. There you go, that's a catering cart. I just see the, uh, well, I suppose I'd have a kitchen right there. A few seats and tables. And next to that is the first class section. So, first class passengers in their high pods, high center seats, <laughs> gold lines tables. Very posh, Great Western. After first class New, De New Delhi, soon became the Great Western Railway to WR, we were went for a more of a, a higher class setup. So, uniforms were very much revamped. Train interiors are very much fitted out with uh, all new setups, seats, carpets, all that. Greston, a very upper class railway these days, especially on the long haul services. So, the next station is Reading, about 16 miles. Uh, Paddington is like Grand Central New York, but it's for the UK. Um, mm, not sure about that as a comparison. Grand Central would probably be more like uh, Kings Cross St Pancras, I'd say. Paddington would act more of a more of a side kind of east side. I'd say uh, Pen New York New York Penn. Paddington, I'd say, as a comparison to New York, is New York Pennsylvania for more of a comparison. Uh, when you top the next station, can you put the front camera and move around like you're doing? When you get to the top of the next station, can you put your front camera and move it around like you're doing when you can put it in the door to get the inside view? Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll try and figure out what you're trying to say there. I think I know what you're trying to say. So, uh, I'll give it a go. Small little details that I just absolutely adore with the sim. It really is a fantastic, fantastic together sim this. Uh, 
<coughs> Fred not um, the end has fired this train. If, if, I was doing a tra if I was doing a backflip in a train, something has horribly gone wrong. Something has very horribly gone wrong from doing backflips in a train. Uh, any super fast Japanese trains in the sim? Not yet, Diego. Not yet. Japanese Shinkansen's. While a lot of people are requesting it, haven't yet been implemented into the sim, but maybe one day in the future. Maybe one day in the future. So increase now to 125 miles per hour. We'll reach top speed at around, um, around Maidenhead. Keep it coasting to about Twyford. And from there, we'll start slowing things down. Um, there are quite a few trains through continent tram. Right now, trains seem to have got trains out of the UK, Germany, the US, and Canada. We've then got a French route coming out in a couple of weeks. Also, we've got a uh, another country as well, uh, an Austri an Aus not a Swiss Austrian route coming out. So, a route that goes through the uh, Swiss Alps, which is going to be fantastic. The Rosa line, very excited to see that. I mean, so far the visuals seem fantastic. So, to see the Alps in Trains in World, I am very very excited for. So, it's only growing a fair bit, Trains in the World. A lot more routes, a lot more continents, and a lot more of the world covered. Uh, yes, Travis, this game, Travel, sorry, Travelographer, this game is on console as well as PC. It's available on PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4, and Xbox S, uh, sorry, new Xbox Series S, something like that, and um, PlayStation 5, so it's about all consoles and PC. See that question one more time, Posnier. I will just have to remove you. Uh, thank you, Dientan Slide. Thank you very much for support there. Much appreciated, 199. You are a star. Thumbs up. Thumbs up to you too. Thank you very much, man. Much appreciated. Thank you for supporting the channel today. Uh, what's our route today? Doing the Greatest Express. Greatest Express from London to Paddington. Then going to do a reverse service in a local stopper train, 166, from Reading back to Paddington. Um, routes are paid. So you buy well, you buy the sim, you get the routes with it, and then you can either then you can buy more routes. Actually, you buy the sim, you get uh, you get four, three or four routes with it. I can't remember which ones exactly you get, but you get three or four, and then you can buy different routes, different prices, and they they go on sale pretty much every couple of weeks. So if you want to get them quite cheap, then sales, Steam sales, you can definitely get them for quite low prices. But I'd recommend it. I love Trains in World. Fantastic platform, a lot of fun to drive. Very, uh, very well put together. So we're about to reach our top speed now, or running speed of 125. Not too far from, uh, Snell Island. Not Snell, Maidenhead. Not too far from Maidenhead. Been there a couple of times, Maidenheads. It's kind of like my main route, London to Maidenhead within London. Uh, Candy Lance Leeds. Not in this sim. But in Train Simulator, London to Leeds is a route, so maybe one day we could definitely go for it. At some point we can do. Uh, no, Sophie. Oh, sorry, no, Rosenlow. Is it a direct line? What do you mean by direct line? Oh, yeah, what do you mean by direct line? Uh, do you prefer Train Sim or Microsoft Flight Sim? I mean, that's it. I really like Train Sim. Very much like it. I mean, I like Flight Sim for different reasons Train Sim. But, yeah, I like Train Sim. A lot of fun. Uh, this route is about 40 or 50 miles. 40 or 50 miles. Yeah, I'd say about 40 from London to back to Reading. It's an almost straight line, but you've got a few deviations and curves on the way. Uh, do wipers work? Yes, they do. Yeah, 
Just trying to get the right time. There we go. Perfect. So that was Twyford now. Next station is Reading. Uh, do you use the keyboard? Yes, I do use the keyboard for this one. Not too difficult to learn, just a case of kind of memorising the controls and then remembering the operates. It's quite simple, so A and D control the throttle, W and S reverser, the square brackets for train brake and the semicolon and apostrophe, sorry, semicolon and apostrophe for train brake, square brackets for the uh, locro brake. Uh, locomotive, right now he's in the class 43 HST. Class 43 HST today. So, in a couple of moments, going to cut back on the throttle. Pretty much on time. 10.49, 10.54. Yeah, so we're pretty much on time for the operations reading. We'll cut back on the throttle and very shortly start using the brakes. Okay, WS. That probably means we have to use a set of points actually, so we do want to slow down to about 60 now. Uh, down to 95.7 miles. So far, so good. Uh, Favourite in train sim? Definitely this one. Definitely this one, the Great Western Express. A lot of fun. So, we've already been a couple of times in real life, so I can recognise what's going on at the moment, in terms of positioning where we are. And uh, yeah, just overall, overall, rather unexperienced that. Right, four minutes to go, mile and a half. You can just about see the station slowing distance in front of us. A concrete stair staircase up there. Bridge across the platforms, second platform just behind the trees. Very grand station reading. Rebuilt a couple of years ago. Track layout's completely changed. It used to be a very complicated station to go through. Train drivers hated it. These days, a lot more streamlined. Down to 60. We're at 50 right now, so we're fine. Uh, do you know more about planes or trains? Probably more about trains. Probably more about trains. Uh, welcome to Poland, Genobre, TCV, um, and Meerkats. Action Mash. Good, good. Right. Well, she's coming our way. Running the uh, Basket Western Blue livery. To a single yellow aspect. The next one will be a red. Reduce speed to about 30 miles per hour now. Uh, what are you playing the sim on? Running on PC right now. Or on train sim on PC. I feel like they've changed traction of this train. It definitely feels different to uh, Trains in World 1. Ever so slight difference, but you can feel it. If you compare the two Sims, the original one accelerates a lot faster, maintains speed a lot easier as well. This one, you really have to push for it, which I thought is probably more realistic to that of the uh, HST. It's a heavy odd unit, this. It's aged. It's, uh, you've really got to put the power for this one. It's the only one you've got to. Uh, <clears throat> Give a little time for. Right, 100 yards. It's going to stop. Okay, a little bit further. There's the uh, stop marker right there. Uh, should you get Trains in World 2 in 2020, get Trains in World 2. Definitely Trains in World 2. 
2020 is the older platform, it's no longer supported. When updates and new routes, Trace Mod 2 is the one to get. Right, let's have a look through the passenger. Let's go exit the train. Let's uh, go through the passenger compartments. So we'll enter through standard class. Nice and clean, nice and simple. It's about average for a train in this. Got top and left, disabled area over here. A few drop down seats for busy trains, another wheelchair bay over here. Luggage racks on our left. Hmm, a bit of a dark carriage, this. But we are under the roof, I believe. Uh, yes, we are. So, next carriage, another luggage rack. Another standard, another luggage rack. We're going to the toilet shortly as well. Now coming up towards the uh, um, food carriage. So you've got your little bar over here. A few seats and tables. Enjoy your meals on. These are first class seats, by the way. First class seats, first class tables. And that leads now next to our first class compartments. So we've got much posher seats. Solid gold tables <laughs> with power sockets plugged in. Yeah, certainly a bit of a revamped train carriage to this. I say Great Western take a lot of pride in their first class service. So you walk through, you've got a little well, seat, massive leg room in front of you. And then comes towards the train, entrance to the engine bay. Very nice. Right, let's close the doors and let's end this uh, service. So nice and simple, 33 minutes to driven. Got a bed all, all good and dandy. Right, so back to the menu. Let's do, uh, let's do a local service next. Uh, favourite train, the uh, Class 395 Javelin. 395, very good. My second favourite, very close behind it, is the train about to drive now, the Class 166. So we're going to drive this in the first Great Western blue livery. So this is modern day Great Western. This is the former operator, first Great Western. So same company but different operation. We're going to start at Reading. So we'll do you. Actually, we'll do a, we'll do a light service. So we have to set the weather as well. I think we'll do a bit of a. Hmm. Let's have a look. So it's not scenarios. Back. Uh, Timetable. There you go. So we'll set a bit of clouds. A bit of rain perhaps as well. There we go, bit of wind as well. There we go, that's better. So 166. First Great Western. Do it towards the afternoon. On a run from Reading down the Paddington. Perfect. So this service takes a little bit longer than the half hour is from London in the HSC. This one takes about an hour or so to complete. So a bit more of a journey, should be a bit more fun. Right, so drive network turbo, North Thames Valley from Reading to Paddington. Train has been loaded, so we'll set the key to on. Reverse set forward, lights set to daytime. That is that, let's get going. Next station is Maidenhead. Oops, what have I done there? I've got too much power in, have I? Yeah, a bit of a wheel spin there. Grumash, it is, it is wet tracks, it is rainy right now, so you need to be very careful with the uh, the wheels. Too much power. We're slipping and sliding the entire way. So I love the low reverbing engine. This is very low tone, very, very nice. Uh, dress like try uh, passenger you dunes get up transfer sit us the other way through. Uh, oh right, so I've said that yes, Sophie. Yes, there are services like that. Uh, real time weather, no real time weather for a train sim, just presets. Bit of a sunset as well, very nice. Now with this train, 
We do actually have the ability to go into the passenger compartment. If I turn the lights on. Uh, there we go, cab lights. Okay, passenger lights seem to be in a separate setup, so I'll leave that. Standard passenger compartments, 3 by 2 seating. Got toilets. I say 3 car service, so if we pop to the back. Middle carriage again, 2 by 3. Rear driver cab, no toilets, two by three. Not a massive train this, nice and simple, nice and cozy, very easy to run. Uh, how long does each journey to trains take between destinations? You can assume. It depends on the route, really. Depends on the route. The uh, Great is a bit of a longer one between stations. Well, the further from London you are, the further between stations. Once we reach uh, West Drayton, things get a lot closer, there'll be a lot more stopping involved. But right now it's about 10-15 minutes per station. From either, it'll be more like 2 or 3 minutes. Uh, is this better than train simulator? I'd say so, Brad. I'd say so. Much newer, much cleaner, and much more behind it. Nice and slowly, well, not slowly, it's about 90 miles per hour speed on this train. But the rain, things will be a little bit a little bit slower, a little more affected. I should have realised we're not actually stopping at Twyford on the service. So we're going to shoot through Twyford, next station is Maidenhead. Not many services do that. Twyford is generally quite well served. Cheers, Amit. Glad you joined the watch. Uh, stream about Euro Trucks. I mean, I used to do Euro Trucks series on my channel. Never really too popular, but maybe one day we could try and reintroduce and see what it's like. Uh, welcome, Thorgren. How are you doing? Welcome to the chat. How are you today? How are you? Soon to reach the top speed now, 90. Uh, have you tried Dero Valley? Yes, I used to live stream Dero Valley on a weekly basis. Very fun, very much enjoy it. A lot more hands on, a lot more hands on compared to other Sims, and so maybe when they already start it, but again, it's one of those things that I started it, wasn't very popular, and so the, channel, the video itself, but the series kind of just died down very quickly afterwards. But uh, it's another one that I'd probably like to try and restart at some point in the future. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm darn enjoying it, Marco. No packs, no packs with some Fred Brad. All built in. So in a couple of moments, I'll get ready to start slowing down for the next station. Um I'm just to the achievements. Grace of Rest Turbo Power. That's taking train up to soft speed now, Grace. I'm bring back the thrust source, it's about to go too fast. The car is passing through Twyford now. Remember where the uh, branch line from Twyford leads off to? Um, it's only like two or three stations that branch, but it's quite a quite a quiet one, quite a disused one. Well, not quite as cut back as the uh, the Maidenhead lines. That one only exists between Maidenhead and High Wycombe. Cut back in the 1960s, a small branch that exists to. Uh, it's not Banbury. It's. Uh, Okay, I'm trying to remember my, my knowledge. I've not been in this area for a little while now, so my knowledge kind of slowly died away. But it used to be quite a popular line. Cut back though between High Wycombe and West uh, Maidenhead. And that's kind of a little, little stub off the Great Western. Uh, can you do the Glenfin and Viaduct Scotland one? Um, I, again, I'm not sure if that's in Train Sim, so if you're not. Uh, nice graphics. There's something similar to iCal on the Sim. I, I vow, I presume, because ICAO is the International Code to Aviation, something like that. Um, sorry, International Classification of Airports, something or other. Uh, no, no, there isn't. Train Simulator has a tool called Third Rails, which you can kind of work around with, but a bit different to this. 
Uh, can you get in your entrance mod? Uh, within the root limits. So there are, there's a fair few routes for it. Quite a fair few routes for it, but still always expanding Trenton World. The more it grows, the more it eventually uh, gets in the future. Uh, welcome, John Pierce. How are you doing? Welcome to the chats. Four and a half miles now to the main heads. Not too long now. Welcome Nathan, how are you doing? Welcome to the channel, welcome to the chats. Uh, can you hear yourself through your mic? No thoughts of no I can't. But I can hear myself from my own voice. Welcome Gavin, how are you doing? Welcome to, welcome to the chats. Next year travel, next year's travel, I've got nothing booked. I'm not sure where I'll go next year. Something further afield I quite like, but it's very, very limiting at the moment. Miles. And trying to work in steps over and go like a fight sim. Um, bit different. Bit different in regards to the. Uh, well, first of all, you set, your limit is kind of set routes you've got in sim so far. The scenario that gives you a bit of freedom, especially in the locals you choose as well. But it's a bit more locked down depending on where, well, which routes are available and uh, which services you can drive. Uh, yes, cats, we are currently in the UK right now, just heading towards Maidenhead, about 20, 25 miles east of uh, west of London. So heading towards London. Whoops, our destination is London Paddington. Very shortly, it'll start to slow down now. Okay, gotta be careful with the wet weather. Probably gonna be a bit of a worse as we approach. Um, how long have you been doing live streams? I've been doing live streams now for about. Well, I've been doing it for a couple of years now. I mean, I've only recently been more massively grown thanks to Microsoft Flight Sim, but uh, I've been doing streams since about 2016, so about four years, four or five years I've been doing this stuff. But hey, hard work has paid off in the end, thanks to Microsoft Flight Sim. This channel's really, really grown these last couple of months. I will say, without you guys, I wouldn't be here, so a massive, uh, a massive amount of thank you to everyone who... Uh, he watches these videos. Shoot. Actually, you know, we're doing alright. I thought we are going a bit too far. Well, we're going in too fast. Especially the wet weather. But we're not gonna... So I got distracted by text by, well, someone actually works in railways, Matt Streeson. I got distracted by text there. You know, texting and driving. You should never do that in a car, especially never in a train. There we go. Right. Doors open. Welcome to Maidenhead. So that right there is a 166 getting ready to go to... Actually, you're getting ready to go to London. Not this train only goes as far. Hang on, there's no driver in that cab. Oh no, driver's in this cab. So you actually, well, drive like that. So you're, yeah, going back towards uh, little stopping loop. Stop a bit further down the platform than usual, but hey. This is a station I've been to so many times now. I've been to the train so many times. Good memories, good memories. <laughs> All right, couple seconds, we'll get ready out of the part. About three quarters of the way full. 
Negative international civil aviation organization. Thank you, uh, travelogue, for that. Right, um, welcome me down. How are you doing? Right, it's until 18, 12. It's actually coming this early. Very early. This is another chance to, uh, to explore the platforms a little bit. A few maps to collect. Usual collectible stuff. Mm hmm. There we go, so one safe sign. Your map not too far away. I know there is in the lower levels. Not much about this side. So that's quite clear. That's all clear. Yeah, okay, next up downstairs. There's the map. So we're here. All the way to London tonight. And this platform, which will be too much. Uh... Ooh, actually, I will say, uh, on this platform, if you're ever a maidenhead, head down to platform four. Right there's like a Pacino's uh, coffee stand. Very, very good. I highly recommend you. If you're in here, head to Pacino's, get a coffee. Get a totally useless biscuit. Sorry, um, it's not totally useless. It's like it's got like something like a, a completely stupid biscuit where you pay one penny and they give you a biscuit. Very much uh, a self-deprecating place. A lot of fun. A lot of fun indeed. It's not even my train. This. <laughs> right, about two minutes now to departure. So you can from the side. So this is what the uh, original blue seating as well. Then have the uh, newer green stuff. But this this is the train I remember. This is the train I remember. My trips out to the uh, to the west. Oh, the old the old <laughs> pink toilet doors. So classy. So classy. Do you love these trains? I've got to tell us some properly. The answer is yes, yes, we do. Very cash, it'll be shut off. Nice and simple. Yes, yeah, so you'll set off, tail lights active. That's all fine. No train preheat, very nice. Train lighting on, off. Brake standing, fault lights. There you go, that's a bit brighter now. So if we get back to the front cab. Less than a minute now to we depart. Close doors. Next station is Slough, Hayes and Highington, Southall, Ealing. So it really is a uh, we are passing through quite a few stations out, so I think. Not quite as, uh. Not quite as full as normal services from Reading to London. Okay, 5.7 miles. Arrive in 7 minutes. So as long as we're doing 60 miles per hour, we'll be alright. No train just approaching Maidenhead now. Uh, do the conduct have their own bathroom? Why do they have their own? Uh, not on this train, Sophie. I don't think conducts really have their own bathrooms, per se. Some trains, they have their own compartments to sit in, but certainly not toilets. Uh, welcome train fan TV, how are you doing? 
Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the chat. How are you today? Say. The answer is Taplo. Sorry, it's Taplo then burn them. Good to hear. I apparently trained Sim 20 as the HP bridge. Gotta try it one day. Uh, yes, yes, it does. Yes. How's place? Um, is that a Gorgeous delivery? Yes. The main delivery? No, Skyward. No, it wasn't. There's a mod for PC in Train Sim Worlds that gives you the high quality original liveries. PC mods have always been great to Train Sim Worlds. I mean, trust me, the livery else is good, but you're not getting this level of detail in there, that's for sure. So this is a modded livery for what trains on PC. Basically, the default, the game files had the Great Western Express in blue built in, but it looks like Dovetail then lost the licensing for the original first Great Western, and therefore lost that. But either way, it's, uh, it's a very good livery, a bit more realism, there's a train point on there. I'll write that. So it's not delivery, adds more realism, a bit more depth, a lot of fun to uh fun to drive. And yes, HSTs also have the flash wrestling page up as well. See that one's in the uh, the blue and pink. Uh gotta buy trains all day or free. Uh some you have to pay for um forty, some you'd have to pay for. Uh, maybe the original event plan was not for it was never but Grayson Scratch happened with development switch to that. Potentially that's the case, because then they they would have got their licensing from well, first Great Western. So really it depends on uh, who gave that type of licensing and the permissions they had. We're gonna start slowing down as well actually, whoops. We're also stopping at Slough, so presumably they're slowing because they're also stopping here. And therefore, we've got to uh, do the same. I assume it's Devon. Devon. Glad you're on the watch. Playing the computer. Yes, we are. Air Australia. Yes, we are. Uh, is this your first time playing Great Western Dragon Mod 2? Uh, no, train, th train fan. It's been a. I didn't mean I did the whole series on it when it first came out. It's been a couple of weeks since then, but uh, I've definitely done some in the past. Throw me the because it's throwing screenshots. A bit more thrust in since we're talking a bit short. Three minutes, or two minutes till arrival, one mile to go. It's not looking too bad for timing. I love these parallel runs. You don't often get these in train sim. <laughs> Uh, like I say, train fan, it's a mod for Great Delivery. It's a uh, mod. You download free to downloads from PC. It's a certain one to look if you're interested in that kind of stuff. Yeah, go for it, John. I mean, I'm not answering any flight sim questions today, but if it's train sim related, then sure. Ask away. Um, is the underground this game? Yes, it is, uh, Zilliti. You do get the Bakerloo line on the underground. Yes, there is the underground in the sim. Uh, is Wells and Train Sim? No, not yet. 
no plans yet. I know Wales would like to do it at some point, but not at the moment. Uh, do you play with mouse control? I play with keyboard and mouse for this. I play with keyboard and mouse. Right. Doors open. I should see slowly pointing the platform now. So yeah, they're going to stop slightly in front of the platform. That way the rear passenger door does make the platform. It's a bit of a long train in this. And therefore it doesn't get a little extra space kind of uh, pushed forward. Especially on the far side platform. Uh, you'd love a time to wear Metro. That'd be an interesting one for one day. You never know. Maybe in the future. Not on the road map, but one day. One day maybe. Uh, I'm not sure if it's driverless or not. I don't think it is Skyward. I don't think it is. But then again, never been on that, so I'm not too sure. Uh, wish I added Windsor Roots. I mean, Windsor Root, Greenford Branch quite short one as well. Greenford Branch would be a nice added extra. But uh, not yet. Maybe one day in the future. Again, we'll have to wait and see where that I plan to take this thing. Right, let's wait until 20 past. We're now a minute to go. We'll lock our doors. And then we'll listen to the engine on the first Great West and see if they're going to pass at the same time or not. Let's, uh, let's have a look. The answer is no, they're not. They'll pass us because we've got to stop at the other station now, so their high speed generator right through. We'll be alright. Uh, where do you get delivery from? It's a mod, Kevin. If you're on PC, it's a free to download mod to get the first Great West delivery, both on HSTs and on the uh, Great Westerns. Uh, one, two, six, six. It's a mod, free to download, very much worth it. Oh, there you go, very nice as well. Not worth looking at. Next station, Hazen Harrington, three, uh, 7.3 miles. Uh, eight minutes, yeah, plenty of time, plenty of time. Uh, have I written Gross in real life? Yes, lots of times, train fan. This is not my local uh, railway, but. It's actually the most useful to get to the west of England. Uh, where from? It's from that Czech train sim forum. I'm, I don't know the name of it. I think it's like train, trainsimpro.cz, something like that. I don't know the name of it, but I think everybody knows at this point. From PC, it's download the file, drag and drop into the uh, train sim to prototype folder, and then it unlocks the first request deliveries as well as the. Uh, Mixed services. Uh, no Berlin bet. This is on PC right now. I'm running this on PC, not Xbox. Still slightly damp tracks, so not quite accelerating as fast. Uh, no train span, I won't be asking flight sim questions. I don't know, I, fi I find it rude when people demand flight sim every single time. I mean, I enjoy train sim, I cover on this channel, and so a lot of people demand it so much, I find it rude. I do find it rude from people, but hey, that's just my own personal opinion on that. I mean, I do flight sim, but do I not deserve to take a break from that? Guess not. I mean, most people are alright, but there's a few people who just demand it so much, it's uh, it's annoying. We're going to have to throttle 4 now so it can maintain speed while coasting. If we went out to 0, the train would start slowing down, because again, got to take the weight into account. But down to throttle 4, it should be quite a, quite a smooth transition to keep the train steady at 77. Just on the five miles to go now. Six minutes. Uh, welcome, Games Media Tornado doing. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the chats. Wasn't um, Theresa May part of the uh, Made of Shield? I think she was. So these, this would have been the uh, the wheat fields that she danced through that one time. The most naughty thing she ever did. <laughs>
So actually, yeah, we're passing through West Racing as well. This is well, this is almost an express service. Um, we do stop at South, or we do stop at Ealing Broadway. Uh, no West Ealing, no West Acton. We've got London Panning, well, Panning for sure, that's our terminus. But, uh, what can you say? Um, have you got a class using FM Sound Mod? I, I did on Train Sim 20, not on Train Sim Mod 2. I do need to get to Train Sim Mod 2, actually. Thanks for reminding me, Aaron. I have to, uh, have to grab that. Aaron Thompson, Aaron Thompson. Similar name, that. <laughs> So, no. thanks for reminding me, I'm going to have to uh, grab through some 7 mods very soon. So, soon to pass through... Well, soon to enter London again. We've actually already passed the M25, haven't we? So, actually, we are inside London. Now, we're uh, steaming towards centre. Uh, do you train Sim 21 or not? Yes. I do like train Sim World 2021. I do stream time time as well. Yes. Uh, Jackie like Coastway. Yes. A very good route. Very fun to drive. Again, quite a good mix of stations quite close together. More widespread between different stops. So the 377. Very, very good train to drive. Come with 313. The 313 add on is also going to completely change that route. Make it oh so better. Oh so better. I'm sure my address was turned off the entire time. Whoops. <laughs> In a second, we're going to go underneath the railway bridge that carries the Heathrow trains. So now past the Heathrow Express and Elizabeth Line. Sorry, it's still TFL Rail, isn't it? So, TFL Rail, and this is the flying. In this stage, Heathrow Express and Heathrow Connect. So, that right there is the bridge. There's Heathrow Flyover. Go to the map, you'll see trains start heading south. Right there's a tunnel. That continues all the way down to the airports. I keep doing that. Wrong button. Start slowing down now. Also on the map, you can see the uh, HST from Slough. Speeding away, that passes when we stop. There's the HST. Whoops, ooh, that's uh, not supposed to happen. <laughs> it's going a bit too fast right now. Bit of an overshoot. Not paying attention. That was the uh, faults there. <laughs> Whoops, the daisy. Right, we'll stop the train. It'll count as a stop there, so open the doors. Yeah, just, just ignore this. Just ignore this while we uh, well, but reset the brakes now. So reset you. That's fine. That's fine. Set you to a zero. Let me charge up a bit. There we go. That should be alright now. Uh, yeah, j just ignore this, please. Just ignore this. This was uh, not our best stop, to say the least. Not our, uh, not our best, <laughs> best stop. <laughs> I mean, one carriage made it. Passengers wants to spark. Please use the uh, the rear carriage. There's the uh, terminus platform.
My nose is so itchy today. I don't know what causes that. Let me dust. Let me dust removes things around. Right, we'll go close the doors now. Looked it too early, was it? Yeah, not yet. Right, it's ten seconds. Ten seconds to watch. Do I have work tomorrow? No work. But I have got the railway volunteering, so I'll be doing that tomorrow. I'll meet up a friend in the morning. Railway volunteer. Then do a stream in the evening, hopefully. Let's see how it all goes. Right, next station at Southall, our penultimate stop. Uh, we'll probably do one more short route after this. So we'll get to Paddington, we'll do one more short route, and then we'll bring things to end. So just under two hours for this plan. Just under two hours today. Um, how do you open the doors on the 483 other bytes? So, two ways you can do it. The first way, press tab on the keyboard and unlock doors, unlock left, unlock right. Or, if you go to the passenger compartments to the rear, on the left and right is a guards panel, and the guards panel you can unlock the doors. So you can use the tab menu, or you can use the guards panel. There's no controls from the drivers section because drivers, well, the, the 1938 stock, the 483, comes from a time before driver single driver operation. A guard, a dedicated railway operative, open and close the doors. So guard panel or tab menu. Train that. I've changed the horn as well. A bit more of a an air hiss when you do that. Right. Just want to turn things down now. So again, good timing, about a minute early. Just checking, we're we not stopping at. Yeah, we are stopping at Eating Broadway. still have it. I know for many years Southall Station also used to have the name in a uh, Punjabi underneath. So you had Southall there underneath it, you had the name Punjabi. Let's have a look in Google. Uh, Southall Station sign. Like I, said, I know they used to have it. I'm not sure if they uh, still do. Yeah, there you go. I'm trying to show this because it's a bit awkward. This uh, desktop. Let's um, I'll do that quickly. There we go. So I'm not sure if I still have it, but for many years with First Great Western, you had name in English, and you had name in I think I believe it's Punjab. That I might be wrong though. But basically, because the uh, station, well, because a lot of people from that part of what I do live here. This is like a. Hang on, let's have a look. Uh, Roy from. Oh, they have. So yeah, it is Punjabi, and it looks like they have removed it. Basically, because a lot of people from the Punjab area live in this. Um, well, live in Southall. Kind of like a bit of an identity thing where they suck the names and language as well. It's quite a nice little lecture, actually. Very nice little feature of that station. I'm sure they may have brought it back, but I'm not quite sure. I'm not entirely sure, but I, I'm sure I, I've definitely seen it. But I don't know if it was more recent than perhaps I believe. Let's jump back into the cab now. Let's get ready for our next stop. Can't even get in anymore. There we go. Doors closed. Let's get going. So 
So, like I say, it looks like the Punjab signing has been removed since. But for many years, it was there. Uh, running reward, yes, you are Nikolai. This is a real route out in London. Uh, to get a straight a minute run. <sighs> Hello there, Matt Thomas. How are you today? <laughs> Yes, yes I did. Gee, I didn't think you'd be here today. How are you doing, Matt? <laughs> yes, still get a, an 8 minute run today. First one went fine, the second one took about 30 seconds to walk again. But I just had to just had to build that up a bit. Had to put up my uh, my week 5 Monday. Plan to do the uh, week 5 day 3. And week six from Wednesday. Man, it's been a long run, that. <laughs> uh, way riding now. So we just passed South Fork. Next station's Ealing Broadway, 2.8 miles. <laughs> I'll get back to you on WhatsApp soon. <laughs> Uh, welcome, Gonzalo. How are you doing? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the chats. <sighs> yeah, more people chat. Just hide that name up a bit. <laughs> uh, close enough for yes. Not too long to 25 now. Not long at all. Uh, so we're now approaching Ealing Broadway. Nikolai, about two miles from that. Welcome life of risks. A couple of moments so I can really slow down. Speed limits will start to drop as we get close to Paddington. Down to 80 at this point. Eating Broadway will then pass through Oddick Common. And then make a slow approach into the uh oh, about this route. Not too bad today, Riss, not too bad. Standard Friday, went to work, all is good now. Tomorrow, back in the, the volunteer railway, it should be rather good. Been too long, too long this lockdown. It'd be nice to head out again. Although we may, now yeah, I won't go into particulars of it. There is one person that uh, <sighs> hope doesn't turn up. <laughs> uh, cheers, Gonzalo. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Um, again, about a minute early as we approach station. Looking rather good for timing today. Uh, no Nikolai, you can ride in Germany, America and Canada right now. Soon, which is West Ealing, um, soon we can also ride in Austria and Switzerland. So I knew it was coming out soon. Also France, France is also coming very soon. Uh, we're getting my game. It's a, a Czech train sim for, it's like train sim pro dot cz, something like that. Again, I can't remember the name. Basically, they've got a few mods for the uh, base train sims. Including this one, which, has, which unlocks the uh, proper first great western purple livery and uh, timetable. Uh, welcome, Vinarma. How are you doing? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the chat. How are you today? Cheers, Riss. Much appreciated. So, now passing underneath the uh, main road here at Eating Broadway. Is that, yellow, is that yellow signal? We're now crossing tracks. We we'll have to uh, scout ahead. Uh, Why is your power drops in a bit? 1.3 miles. Interesting. We'll have to see what the uh, signal there was for. Um, Austria should be nice to like the mountains, yes. So the Erosa line is one that's coming out. Very much a route in the Alps. So very excited to see that one when it comes out. Being put together by. Um, Rivet's game. So same people as Isla White, same people as a couple of those German locos.
Cheers, trend fan. Much appreciated. Right, so, eating Broadway. Right there, you've got the entry points to the London um, Undergrounds. Central line, central line, districts line, districts line, districts line. London Underground right here. And then closest to the Paddington, we also come across both the Circle Line and have some city lines. They uh, meet us at. Uh, where is it they meet us at? What's the name of the station? There used to be a Great Western station there as well a couple of years ago. Back in the 90s, they. Well, they tore it down because they didn't need it anymore. Uh, is it out at. Um, so, Roy Lakes to our side and Westbourne Park, that's it. So, some trains originally. And Grace used to turn it to Westbourne Park, but in the 1990s, it was 1992, they stopped running trains there because it was too close to Paddington and nobody used it apart from those on the London Underground. So they tore up the platforms, removed the bridge, and just stuck it. So it's now on the Circle Mrs. Smith and Hampstead City lines. The Great Western no longer stops there, but for many years it used to. For many years it used to. Yes, 5.3 miles Paddington, and about 5 to go. So we pass through uh, West Saxon. Won't be stopping there. 6 minutes, 6 minutes to go to relaxation. Favourite plane, 747. So we'll get to Paddington, we'll then do one more short run, one more short route, and then we'll bring this to an end today. Uh, trains in the world. Is there a difference between Trains 1 and Trains 1 2? They can feel so. It sounds different. The sounds are very different in this compared to the Great Western on Trains in the World 2020. And the physics do feel different as well. Especially during the wet to rainy weather. The wheel slip is very much more predominant than this. Uh, also, the HST. If you drive the HST between two sims, you'll definitely feel the difference. I mean, it, no, it, it doesn't accelerate as fast in Trains in the World 2. It doesn't accelerate as fast. It was a lot heavier to get going. A lot more sluggish the acceleration, which to be fair, well the original adventure engines were very powerful. The newer ones, I can't remember the name of the new ones, but the new engines not quite as uh, not quite as strong. Uh, Axon Main, sorry, back to the back to the main line. My hands on the central line, yes. Uh no, no kumbayas tonight. <laughs> no kumbayas. <laughs> to be fair. That last night as well, long after stream has ended, I was still summing the tune to myself. <laughs> no, no one calls for Kumbaya, I'm afraid. No one calls today. It's a nice way of bonding. you were having last night as well. <laughs> to be fair, it didn't help as well. That's uh, last night also when I was more relaxed. 
searching up on YouTube and just played in the background on YouTube as well when I was doing my usual internet browsing. Uh, get to 50k next year, do you think possible? Uh, next year, woo, shoot, points. Short train tilt there, that was very much looking to uh, sleep derail. Be very careful points. Uh, 50k next year, we'll see, we'll see. It's been a good run these last couple of months, but mm, 12 months, 25,000. If I was averaging 2,000 subs a month, then yes. I I don't know how many times I'm averaging at the moment. I'd have to check the stats. I'd have to check the stats, but the answer is I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. So there it goes. There's um, Westbourne Park. It used to be a great wrestling station, not anymore. I don't see where the platform used to be, just in front of us here. I see where the entrance used to be as well. Kind of just is now boarded up to nothing. But once upon a time, that used to be an entry point to a great western station. To our left, we have got the circle line has city lines. Somewhere they are. Where are they? Oh, there it's underneath us. You can see we've got the proper third and fourth rail here. So that one appears. Uh, you take care, Zam. Good night. There's Royal Oak. Uh, love the station. Love station throw to Paddington. First Royal Terminus travels when you came to the UK. Such an intense approach. Grand station to a building. Paddington's nice, but St Pancras is better. For me, St Pancras is by far the uh, best of all the uh, terminuses. Uh, do you prefer Great and or do you prefer Great and Railway names? Great and Railway, more of more of a uh, an own to the heritage of this line. Uh, Iggs and Bar Brunel's Great and Railway. And so uh, yes, GWR, better better name, better train livery. Very classy railway. I don't need wipes anymore, so it's going to be under a cover now, under the roof. Uh, you are the best YouTube. Cheers to that, Riss. Thank you very much. Right, let's now bring things to a halt. Cool, that'll do. And there is the intensified. You take care. Have a good one. Yes, welcome to London. It's Paddington. That was a good idea, actually, from the hotel. I mean, they're flat people, but just having just just sassy people at the end of the platform. A few people walking about as well. It just makes it look busier. It makes it look busier. A very a very nice addition to this, I believe. Very nice. Quite empty at the moment. Although, to be fair, was it's quarter to seven now in the sim. So, yeah, quite a few trains will be out at this point doing their runs. Unlock doors. Do we not unlock doors? I'm sure we did. Don't think I'll see the other side. It does. That's, that's a glitch. Okay, I have to uh, report that stuff till later. It should not have opened. Well, it shouldn't be asking for that side doors. Certainly not. Uh, do you think you do a great rest of stream again? At some point I will do train fan. Absolutely. I have a little bit of break between the same routes, but that's how I, I do enjoy this route. A lot of fun to drive, a lot of fun to uh, look around. Very, very pretty designs throughout. So definitely give it time in the future for sure. So 
So I'll give it a couple more moments. I don't think on this train actually, 220. All the train numbers are based on their real life counterparts. And so I think I've been on that one before. Better sure I have. Turn those off. So E2 off, key off. Basically, the train now for the turnaround. And there we have it. A little bit fast at the end there, but not looking too bad. Level 38. Answer is. Yeah, 38. Uh, level 1000 wants that. Six, level 6 and greater, so level 4166. So far, so good. Alright, I'll do one more short run, and then we'll bring the stream to an end today. Yeah, I'll drop a message to Dovetail. I'll report it as a bug. Try and get that sorted out soon. Right, so we'll do a short run. So we'll probably do a 166 again, but this time on a stay. Actually, do we have a short sailing run in this? Or are they all full? Yeah, they're all full. Okay, maybe one day we'll do a one. We'll do a 66 stream at some point, just dedicated to the freight runs. But for now, we'll do a we'll do a depot. So train care to Twyford. That's an interesting one. Train care to Twyford. It's not a short short route, but Bit of distance to it. And then presumably that loco, we then do the uh, Twyford branch runs. So, empty stock from Reading Train Care Depot to Twyford. Not a massive run that, bit of distance. We're going. Forward set, train forward, headlights stay time, stop location Reading, and carry on. Forwards. Way too fast, just realised that. <laughs> uh, yes, Sid, this is available on console. Trains World is available on console, it's available on PlayStation and Xbox. PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X. Nice and slow start. Don't go too fast again. So it's a very, very pretty sim. This. Very nice put together the spider dovetail. A lot of detail, a lot of physics. Comes together to make a very strong train to platform. No train fan TV, you take care, have a good one, good night. To 15 miles per hour now. No race turtle, you take care, have a good one. Merry Christmas to you too, I guess. We've still got another 21 days to go. A bit premature. <clears throat> I've got Kumbaya, my, my lord, suck in my head again. Cheers for that. Managed to forget about it, and you guys are going, what do you do? Bring it back. <laughs> oh, you take care, Chris. You're leaving now, are you? You're still streaming. Come on, guys. You're still streaming. Yeah. Look what you've done to me. You've got Kumbaya stuck in my head again. Right, up to 40 now. That's better. It's not like a shadow on half my face, which I was doing before. Still working with lighting. One day I'll get it right. But that day is not today. So, next station is Reading. Stop location. 
Look how many passengers. I thought we weren't doing that for the uh, dual service, but I don't know. Plans always change. Oh, she went right down to the uh, very end. There's not many trains use these far end platform lengths. Got the HSC coming in now from further afield. Steady. Yeah, it's really has been a shoot because no, no trains. Well, very few trains use the uh, far platform 15 as well. Platform 15, the 640 service to Twyford. Right, towards the end. Wait for the stop markers. Slow us down now. Uh, yes, Marmalade. At some point, I will do a stream on East Coast away. Did be route worth reliving that one. Especially the. Uh, oh, James is out of Brighton. Very, very good route. Love the wooden platform as well. Just level of detail. Very, very nice to put together. Right. Let's get going. Uh, wait till 6.40. We've got a minute to depart. Maybe that's an opportunity to just uh, run around the platform, I guess. That could be HST, slowly approaching. Map, thank you very much. Tablo, there's no, there should be WH Smith there. There should be WH Smith sitting in the middle of all this. A couple of coffee shops as well. There's the HST, slowly approaching now. Train spotting for Reading is fantastic, actually, I will say. If you ever want to do a bit of train spotting not too far from London, head to Reading. You've got this few on top of the trains above. You used to get a very good mix of HSTs and um, Class 800s. These are just 800s and um, extra stars. But you get a fair few other trains, for example, cross country run few trains here. You get a southern train as well, I think, up once a day. So you do get a couple of units uh, passing through. Uh, you get quite a few tr freight trains as well. Freight trains travelling from the west down to the south. And so, uh, no, I say, if you want to do a bit of train spotting, head to Reading. You've got a very good view of the bridge and loads of platforms to uh, enjoy passing trains. Uh, no, Leo, this is not on multiplayer. Four miles to Twyford. Ooh, very dark in the clock there, but a bit of cab lighting on. What is that? Like a, like a bridge, maybe? I'm not sure. Someone just died on this panel. I'll right, we'll carry on accelerating. It's 90 miles per hour, so top speed limits for this sort of short section. About four minutes to get there. Four minutes, four miles. Very nice. Uh, do you like now to be your face cam? I mean, I've never had a problem with face cam. Never had a problem with face cam. Of course, my system slowed down, but with the recent upgrades, you now it's quite normal. No, I've never had a problem with face cam. Uh, will you get the TGV release? Yes, I will do, Rohill. I absolutely will get TGV. Fantastic train, the duplex. Very good route, Marseille to Avignon. Not the longest, but 
I do know that I'm trying out all new, te new technologies for this map based on satellite imagery and all of that stuff so very excited to see how that will look yeah very exciting they'll be the prettiest of all the routes I mean now that they're using before it's kind of like a they have the back end overlays they drag and drop different builds all that I mean it's a good looking sim don't get me wrong but by employing the proper satellite technology it's going to be a very pretty route to Marseille Avenue on South France is fantastic anyways so so you can make it even better Um, it won't be pretty frame heavy. I don't think so, right here. I don't think so. It won't be much more frame heavy than the current routes, like train sim. I mean, you say, you say frame heavy. I'm running this at sort of 60 right now. 60 FPS. Very, very few drops every couple of minutes. I wouldn't say heavy by any means. Start slowing down now since we're going to stop for our next station. 60, 1.2 miles. Welcome, Walk. How are you doing? Welcome to chat, how are you doing? Welcome back. So it's like to turn around to 30. So it's single out text now, so it has to be red. Station now visible just in front of us. Um, in real life, line is now electrified right here. But it was electrified in 2019. So this route released in 2018, 2017. So it's a couple of years old now, came out before electrification, but these days, yes, it is now electrified. But only as far as uh, Didcot Parkway, where then you do need to use some electric, um, you then need to use some diesel service. The electric Great Western is still much pending on going. After Great Western, I believe the Chilton main line will be the next to get electrification, but that's still not for a couple of years away. Right, so our final stop for the stream, Twyford. On time this time. Uh, yes, 17 seconds, bang on time. Is this the Bristol Village? I know that the Oxford branch is not electrified. Oxford's using the diesel trains. Um, might be right then, actually. It might be all the way to Bristol. I know, yeah, Penzance is definitely not electrified. Um, no, I think you're right. It is Bristol. It's electrified as far. I mean, the, Reading took a long time. Yeah, loads of delays. Budget went way over with uh, Reading. I mean, there was a massive, massive. Well, <laughs> a lot of questions asked about what happened with that one. But uh, I think you're all right. Uh, would Crossrail be running service right now? Uh, yes, Crossrail would run as far as Reading. Reading to Shenfield. Uh, P-Spec's only too much of a system spec harsh. 
I the, the Steam site. It's not too bad, Train Sim. Very, very easy to run. And uh, yeah, so that brings us now to the end of our service. We're going to end of our stream today. So, level 30 on the end character, level 6 on the routes, level 5 on the train. Day mid 29, 6.4 miles driven, 226 yards walked. Overall, rather good run. So, um, like I say, that brings us now to the end of our stream today. Oh, <laughs> I mean, that's what you say, really. That's Train to Mod 2. That was the Great Western Express. Hope you guys enjoyed the routes. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you've done so already. Thank you very much for watching. And I shall see you all again in the very near future. Take care. Have a great weekend. And good night. Uh, Hi, Chilton. Not in this sim. It is available on Train Simulator. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Bye-bye. Right,